Hello friends, you're welcome to the Search the Scriptures lesson. Yes, we are back to the Old Testament series, the Book of Numbers precisely. Um, we started the Book of Numbers from chapter 1 all through. Now we are looking at chapter 18. I pray the Lord will speak to us. If you have your Bible, turn with me to Numbers chapter 20, 18 rather. Numbers chapter 18. And before we start, let's say a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your greatness. We thank you for your love towards us. We thank you for your word laid down for us to be um, a guide, a lamp, a light to our path. Lord, we thank you because... You have done all these things to preserve us in your love. Lord, we ask that as we are about to study, speak to us. Teach us, guide us into all truth. Spirit divine, help us. Open the eyes of our understanding also, Lord, that we may behold precious things out of your word. Speak to us, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Turn with me to the book of Numbers chapter 18 and I read from verse 1. It says, And the Lord said unto Aaron, Thou and thy sons and thy father's house with thee shall bear the iniquity of the sanctuary. And thou and thy sons with thee shall bear the iniquity of your priesthood. And thy brethren also of the tribe of Levi, the tribe of thy father, Bring thou with thee, that they may be joined unto thee, and minister unto thee. But thou and thy sons with thee shall minister before the tabernacle of witness. And they shall keep the charge, and the charge of all the tabernacle. Only they shall not come nigh the vessels of the sanctuary, and the altar, that neither they nor ye also die and they shall be joined unto thee and keep the charge of the tabernacle of the congregation for all the service of the tabernacle and a stranger shall not come nigh unto you and ye shall keep the charge of the sanctuary and the charge of the altar that there be no wrath any more among the children of israel and I, behold, I have taken your brethren, the Levites, from among the children of Israel. To you they are given as a gift for the Lord to do the service of the tabernacle of the congregation. Now looking at the text, Numbers chapter 18 from verses 1 to 3 or 2 to 32. We are looking at the topic charge the charge and portion of the priest and levites the charge and portion of the priests and levites after the lord put the end of the rebellion and murmuring of korah Dathan, and abiram he gave aaron his sons and the levites charge regarding the service of the tabernacle of the holy presence he specified the duties and responsibilities of the priesthood as well as penalties attached to those who ventured into this ministry without divine appointment and anointing. The charge God gave to Aaron, his sons and the Levites was to enable them minister according to their callings and avoid a clash of responsibilities which is capable of provoking conflicts within the priesthood the levites were raised as support staff to the Aaronic priesthood and were permitted to minister as workers with him and his sons who were the high priests and priests respectively God also made clear what should be their remuneration and perquisites which must attend their service. He assigned generous rewards to specified 
responsibilities. The Levites had specific portions or inheritance for the service they rendered in the tabernacle of the congregation. The study shows that God generously rewards those who serve him diligently. As he commanded the children of Israel to minister to their leaders out of their best substance, so also he ensures that those who give their best to him receive the best from him. His concern, he is concerned for the welfare of his people. When we serve, he takes care of us and will not let anyone go empty-handed. In this study, the topic, the charge and portion of the priest and the Levite, we are considering three points. Point number one, charge to Aaron and the Levite. Charge to Aaron and the Levites. Point number two, care for ministers in the sanctuary. Care for ministers in the sanctuary. Point number three, contribution of the Levites from their portion. Contribution of the Levites from their portion. Let's come to point number one, charge to Aaron and the Levites. Charge to Aaron and the Levites. Come to the text in um, Numbers, Numbers chapter 18, and I read from verse 1. And the Lord said unto Aaron, Thou and thy sons and thy father's house with thee shall bear the iniquity of the sanctuary, and thou and thy sons with thee shall bear the iniquity of your priesthood, and thy brethren also of the tribe of Levi the tribe of thy father bring thou with thee that they may be joined unto thee and minister unto thee but thou and thy sons with thee shall minister before the tabernacle of witness so before these the lord had chosen aaron to be priest high priest and his sons four of his sons the lord chose they were appointed, they were anointed. Four of them, Nadab, Abihu, Elise, and Itamar. But now at this point, Moses, Aaron rather, was left with two sons, Elise and Itamar. Why? Because Abihu and Nadab, they died. The Lord killed them. Why? Because they disobeyed the Lord. They went in to offer strange fire on authorized fire and they died so Aaron was left with two sons Eliza and Itamar and looking at this chapter chapter 18 18 of the book of numbers you'd say this is like a reputation yes why because the preceding chapters there were men called um, Korah Dathan and Abiram, they stood against Moses. They stood against Aaron. They came, they act rebelliously against Moses. They dictated the movement to, um, to usurp um, the position of Aaron and Moses. They said, are not the children of Israel everyone holy? Why are you setting yourself apart? Why are you exalting yourself? Who gave you this authority and this power over us? Do you know? And Moses was displeased. The Lord also was displeased. And the Lord killed them. Yes, the Bible says, and the ground opened and swallowed them up. It swallowed them up. And chapter 17, the Lord said, okay, I before the eyes of the children of Israel, each tribe should come up with, the princes should come with their rod and put the rod in the tabernacle 
before me. And if any road boards, that person have I chosen to be a priest. And every tribe came with their name on their roads, but Aaron's broad bodied. Aaron's broad bodied. So the next chapter, chapter 18, that chapter we are looking at, the Lord wanted to reassure them again that this is the person I'm choosing. This is my man, Aaron and his sons will be priest forever and he specified their duties and their responsibilities he said look the levites your brethren they'll join you in the service of the tabernacle but their boundaries this is their duty this is what they would do in the tabernacle they are not to get close to the holy things they are not to get close to the vessels. And look at what it says in verse 3. And they shall keep the charge, that is the commandment, and the charge of all the tabernacle. Only they shall not come near the vessels of the sanctuary and the altar, that neither they nor ye also die. <laughs> if you permit them, neither they and ye also talking to Aaron and his sons we don't permit them to come close look at what it says in verse 4 and they shall be joined unto thee and keep the charge of the tabernacle of the congregation for all the service of the tabernacle and a stranger shall not come nigh unto you in verse 1, it says, And ye shall bear the iniquity of the sanctuary. And it says again, And thou and thy sons with thee shall bear the iniquity of your priesthood. To bear the iniquity means that they would be held responsible for performing the necessary rites to atone for the sins of the people. The Levites were chosen from among the children of Israel and given to Aaron as a gift to work together. They were to keep Aaron's charge or command and the command of God's standard concerning the work of the sanctuary. You see, working with Moses, Aaron rather, Aaron being a Levite and a priest, you know, I told you that um, the difference between a Levite and a priest was that Aaron's sons were called to be priests. They were Levites, though. Um, Aaron came from the lineage of Levi. So Aaron was a Levite. His sons were Levites. But they were called out of the Levites to become priests. The Levites were not priests. The Levites were called to assist the priests in the sanctuary. Now come to verse 6. And I, behold, I have taken your brethren, the Levites, from among the children of Israel. To you they are given as gifts for the Lord. To do the service of the tabernacle of the congregation. Therefore, thou and thy sons with thee shall keep your priest's office for everything of the altar and within the veil, and ye shall serve. I have given your priest's office unto you as a service of gift, and the stranger that cometh nigh shall be put to death. God's appointment is not according to the standards of men, but by his mercy and sovereign consideration. He owns it as his choice to appoint whom he wills for his purpose. It is his soul's choice to prefer Jacob above Esau. 
Joseph above his brethren and David above his other brothers. Contemporary believers ought to know that God's choice of leaders among his congregation is not by balloting but by his preference and sovereignty. Leaders are to allow God appoint workers that are to serve with him. The church of God consists of various departments and responsibilities. In his wisdom, God has bestowed on his children different degrees of gifts and talents, and he requires that we put them to diligent use. He expects us to serve and remain faithful wherever he has put us. Take heed that we are not found wanting at our duty post because we are busy with activities that he has not assigned unto us. Now let's come to the next point in point number two, care for ministers in the sanctuary. Care for ministers in the sanctuary. Come to the text in Numbers chapter 18 and I read from verse 8. He says, And the Lord spake unto Aaron, Behold, I also have given thee the charge of my heave offerings of all the hallowed things of the children of Israel. Unto thee have I given them by reason of the anointing and to thy sons by an ordinance forever. These shall be thine of the most holy things reserved from the fire. Every obligation of yours, every meat offering of yours, and every sin offering of yours, and every trespass offering of yours, which they shall render unto me, shall be most holy for thee and for thy sons. In the most holy place shall thou eat it, every male shall eat it, it shall be holy unto thee. As a great and caring father, God made provision for his sons, for his servants. Yes, the new dispensation for his sons. You know, he told Moses and he said to them, when you get to the promised land, the Israelites, when they get to the promised land, the Levites have chosen them to be mine. They have no inheritance in the land. They have no inheritance in the land. But the Lord said to Moses and to Aaron, and he said, The children of Israel, when they bring their offerings and their tithes, the Levites will be beneficiaries of those offerings. Because the Lord said, in verse 20 and the lord spake unto aaron thou shall have no inheritance in their land neither shall thou have any part among them any part among them no inheritance no part among them i've called them out to be mine i am thy part and thy inheritance among the children of Israel. I am thy part. I am thy portion. That's what the Lord said to the Levites. I am thy part. I am thy portion. I am thine inheritance among the children of Israel. What is the Lord saying to us in this new dispensation? You called out into his family, called out of sin, called out of darkness into his light, called out of captivity, bondage, and you are seated in heavenly places with Christ. He has called you out to be co-heir with Christ. What is your inheritance? 
Do you know your place in Christ? Like Paul prayed for the Ephesian church in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 18. In verse 17, it says that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. You are called, washed, sanctified, you are a saint. What is your inheritance? Do you know your place in Christ? Do you know that healing is the children's bread? Do you know he has promised us protection and guidance? He said, thou shalt have no inheritance in their land. Neither shalt thou have any part among them. I am thy portion. I am thy part and thy inheritance among the children of Israel. As we mind the Father's business, so we here mind our own business also. He cannot afford to neglect those who are faithful in serving him though there may be delay but verily assuredly certainly the reward for faithful servants will come we do not need to cut corners or engage in shady deals in order to make ends meet god is working for every child of his and will surely reward us at the appointed time are you prepared are you working for the lord are you serving him in spirit and in truth are you giving yourself to the lord are you doing his beatings if you are rest assured don't worry the lord will definitely reward you here on earth here on earth and also in heaven i pray the lord will grant us grace to always do his bidding to always work for him to always remain in our duty post he said when he shall come when the lord shall come will he find faith Will he find faithfulness, fidelity when he comes? I pray the Lord will give us grace to occupy till he comes. Now let's come to the third point, point number three. Contribution of Levites from their portion. Contribution of Levites from their portion. Come to the text in Numbers chapter 18 and I'll read from verse 25. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Thus speak unto the Levite, and say unto them, When ye take of the children of Israel the tithes which I have given unto you from them for your inheritance, then ye shall offer up an heave offering of it for the Lord even a tenth part of the tithe and this your heave offering shall be reckoned unto you as though it were the corn of the threshing floor and as the fullness of the wine press thus ye also shall offer an heave offering unto the lord of your tithes which ye receive of the children of israel and ye shall give thereof the Lord's heave offering to Aaron the priest. Out of all your gifts, ye shall offer every heave offering of the Lord, of all the best thereof, even the hallowed part thereof 
out of it. The children of Levi were saddled with the responsibilities of ministering with and for the priests in the tabernacle. The Levites were to consecrate on their service without distraction by any other labor or service. God specifically told them, Thou shalt have no inheritance in the land. Neither shalt thou have any part among them. I am thy portion, I am thy part, and inheritance among the children of Israel. God wanted their attention for full service. However, he made provision for their sustenance and welfare while working for him. He gave the Levites all the tent Israel for an inheritance for their service for which they serve in the tabernacle of the congregation. They were to be sustained through these means without having to beg for their upkeep. Why the rest of the children of Israel must not be involved in the service of the tabernacle. Only the Levites were allowed in this service. Though the Levites were adequately provided for through the best that were offered to God in their tithe and or offerings, they were also expected to contribute the ten parts of the best they received to God. And in verse 29, out of all your gifts, ye shall offer every heave offering of the Lord of all the best thereof, even the hallowed part thereof out of it. All believers must understand that God wants the payment of tithes from all categories of workers and ministers, leaders and laities. Failures to do these amounts to robbing God and we attract negative consequences. As God demanded giving of tithes by all the children of Israel at that time, he still requests the same from all his people today. The purpose of tithes and offering is primarily for the furnishing of the house of God and sustenance of his ministers. The church is engaged in evangelistic outreaches, erection of church buildings and missionary work. All these require money. Hence, believers should be faithful in paying their tithes and given generously for the cause of the gospel. Failure to do it will amount to robbing God and jeopardizing the cause of the gospel, which believers must not allow to happen. Like the children of Israel joined force, they obeyed God and they gave their tithes. And those tithes sustained the Levites, sustained Aaron, the priest, the high priest, and his sons, the priest. They obeyed. And we all ought to obey the command of God. We sustain the ministers. We give to sustain the missionaries. We give to push for the fordrance of the gospel. We give to sustain those that God has called into the full-time ministry. We give for the expansion of the kingdom. Money is needed. We cannot deny the fact. The gospel needs money. So we are called to give. We are called to um, contribute to help the ministry grow. And the Lord will bless every one of you in jesus name let's say a word of prayer and let's just talk to the lord and say lord we've seen your word the charge and the portion of the priest the lord said to the levites i am your portion i am your parts 
am dying inheritance. And the Lord is saying that to you, he's your portion forever. He's your inheritance. If you're called out of sin, he has called you to be co-heirs with Christ. You are called, you're a child of God. You have so many inheritance. And I say, Lord, open my eyes. Give me the knowledge to know who I am in Christ. He has called you. He has called you to be priest. He has called you to be king. Why not say, Lord, teach me. Open my eye to know my identity. My identity in Christ. My identity in the kingdom. My identity as a child of God. Say, Lord, open my eyes. The mission, the evangelical, evangelistic outreach is going on. How are you assisting? Are you giving? Are you paying your tithes? Are you giving your offerings? Are you giving generously for the expansion of the kingdom? For those that give themselves to the Lord and said, Lord, I want to serve you. Take me to so-so country, so-so village or wherever just to preach the gospel. How are you assisting? How are you helping out? What is your quarter? What are you given to help the gospel grow? Say, Lord, give me the heart to give. You might say, I, I give my tithes, I give my offerings. Not just that, the Lord wants more. I say, Lord, give me a willing heart. Give me the heart to give. And the Lord will help you. Father, we've seen your word. We thank you for your teaching, for how you've helped us. You've explained to us seen the church and the portion of the Levites and the priests. Lord, you've called us. You've made us kings and priests. Lord, we ask that every portion, everything that you've allocated for the priests called into your, your family. Lord, we pray that it will not pass us by. Help us to be faithful. Help us to be hardworking. Help us to be fervent. Help us to be active in our duty posts. Give us grace. To even know in the, the areas you have called us to work in. Help us, Lord. Bless us, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you.